Falling in love is easy, but keeping this love alive over time is a totally different ball game. Hi, my name is Abhi Dugal, and in this video, you learn four unconventional tips to hack your relationships. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button as it really helps the video rank in the algorithm. And I challenge you to stay until the end and keep an open mind even if you have the best love story. Let's begin with our fourth tip. Let go of the need to possess your partner. I want to reflect on this quote from Osho. If you love a flower, don't pick it up. Because if you pick it up, it dies and ceases to exist what you loved. So if you love a flower, let it be. Love is not about possession. Love is about appreciation. Wise words, isn't it? I mean, how many times have you suffered because of need to control everyone, especially your partner? And how many blind dates you have forced yourself to go on wanting a relationship right now? If you are anything like me, the answer is many. Now, I'm not saying that you are a possessive type. However, as a human being, the need to possess is conditioned deep in our limbic part of the brain. When you're not with your partner, just focus fully in this moment in front of you and stop imagining what they might be doing or who they are with because that's just your insecurity you're projecting on them. So let's create a new way of thinking about love. Let's introduce an affirmation. Repeat this to yourself daily. I let go of the need to control my partner and experience my freedom. Third, love versus business. Don't bring your business mindset into a love relationship. As a matter of fact, don't even bring your mind into your love. I don't care what business you are in. Universally, the only thing that matters in a business is profit. And the profit is the difference between what you give and what you receive. So if you're receiving more than you give, then you stand profitable. And this is considered a good business. Now you must have heard countless unsuccessful love stories where people feel that they've been used in their relationship. Now this is primarily because one or both partners bring their business mindset into their relationship. I mean, think about it. Once you make profit in business, the mind logically starts trying to figure out ways to make more profit next time. Which means you start giving even less and receiving more. Eventually, you want to give nothing and you expect everything. I don't know about you, but this sounds like a toxic relationship. Consider love as your hobby instead, where there is no profit to be made. Give yourself because you want to. A story that comes to my mind is of a painter, Vincent van Gogh. It's amazing that the name Vincent van Gogh inspires art lovers all around the world and he did not sell a single painting during his lifetime. Vincent was financially supported by his brother, Theo, who would give him a few dollars every week. Now he would take this money and half of it he would spend in the groceries and half for buying painting supplies. On his deathbed, he told his brother that he's dying as the richest person in the world as he did what he loved to do every single day. Second, treat others the way they want to be treated. But see, we're conditioned to believe that treat others as you want to be treated. As humans, everyone, I mean everyone is looking at the world from their point of view. If you've been in a relationship, you soon find out that your point of view and your partner's point of view do not match every time. Now their idea of celebrating a romantic evening might be to go watch a musical Broadway show. while you might be happier just sitting on the beach connecting with nature. Now let me ask you this, is it possible to do both? Yes, of course it's possible. Now the real question is, can you do both with the same level of excitement and involvement? Get curious about what your partner wants. Spend time observing what they like and what they don't. See, the problem happens when we get to know someone, we start predicting what they'll do. 
we start making assumptions, we start being curious. Now you might want to ask them what they like in bed. Time to time, ask your partner if there's anything else they like to try. They might be happy to experiment something different. See, most importantly, find out their love languages. If you haven't read this book, The Five Love Languages, The Secret to Love That Lasts, go buy a copy on Amazon and it'll change the way you look at your partner. I'll leave the link for Amazon in the description. And our first pick, love yourself. And I don't mean it literally. And I know this one might come to you as a no-brainer, but how many of us really love ourselves? See, we're conditioned to love thy neighbor with a person who doesn't love themselves. And ironically, your neighbor is also conditioned to love their neighbors. Now we have a situation where two people love each other without knowing what love is. It's like a beggar begging from another beggar. See, growing up in India, I saw some beggars mistakenly start to beg from another beggar thinking they have the money. And this usually ends up in a fight. The only thing comes out of this scenario is misery, frustration and a feeling that you have been cheated. Love yourself as you have all the answers for yourself. See, at the end of my yoga class, I always bring emphasis on saying something profoundly loving to yourself as the body remembers everything. And over time, this will lead into rekindling that love affair within yourself. Let's repeat this affirmation in our head. I love and accept myself fully the way I am. I accept and love myself fully the way I am. I am so grateful that you're watching this video right now. Please like the video and leave a comment on self-love tip you practice for yourself. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button as it really helps the video rank in the algorithm.